Derek in Florida, sunny Florida, writes to me. He says, I took my Pioneer car stereo, okay, <laughs> and I hooked it up to some bookshelf speakers in my living room, and it sounds amazingly better than almost any home stereo I have ever heard. It has all the qualities that people describe for tube amps having very clear, warm sounding. Now, I noticed it said that it used MOSFET chips. Is that what's making it sound good? And can you explain MOSFETs? And how do I know if a home stereo uses MOSFETs? Well, <laughs> sure. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know about the wisdom of <laughs> using Hey, you know what? If it works, I'm all in favor of it. I love it. Um, by the way, speaking of MOSFETs and speaking of things people tell me, a lot of times, you know, I just walk around on Saturday morning in the halls of PS Audio and we see all kinds of different things, new projects, boards, and people, what, what's that, what's, you know? So you might look over, oh my God. This beast is what's inside of a BHK 600 power amplifier. This is, um, over here is where the, <clears throat> the vacuum tubes go and all of those capacitors are part of the power supply and it is a beast. Ouch, and it's sharp. Uh, poor Jonathan who works here. Um, MOSFETs. And one of the reasons I brought that up is because the BHK 600s use MOSFETs. So MOSFET is a acronym for Metal Oxide Semiconductor Field Effect Transistor. It's a type of FET and FET, field effect transistors, as opposed to bipolar or bipolar junction BJT transistors, MOSFETs or FETs in general have a very warm sound to them, very tube-like quality. It's one of the reasons we use MOSFETs in quite a number of our products. They don't exclusively have that. We've certainly built bipolar products, BJTs, that due to other areas of the circuit, you can, you can make it sound very tuby, very warm, and you, you can manipulate the sound in your design with any number of tricks that we use in our design books. But in general, MOSFETs are very warm sounding. <clears throat> They're very tube-like sounding. One of the differences technically of a MOSFET is that it is a voltage amplifying device as opposed to a BJT, a, a bipolar transistor, which is a current amplifying device. So the same is true with a vacuum tube. Vacuum tubes are voltage amplifying devices. And so you see a similarity there and they do have a, a similar sound to them. Why your Pioneer sounds that? I don't know if it has anything to do with MOSFETs. That might be more marketing than anything else, and you might have just gotten lucky. But that's what a MOSFET is, and we use them a lot in a lot of our designs, and they are great devices, a little difficult to work with. I won't get into that. That's There's all kinds of biasing issues with those. MOSFETs generally aren't, oh, if you take a BJT, here, here he goes, if you take a BJT, you know that as soon as you raise it up over half a volt or so, it'll turn on, do its thing. It has a certain amount of beta. You can pretty much predict that you throw a BJT into a circuit, it's gonna work. MOSFETs on their gate, which is their input, sometimes you have to, in order to get that thing to turn on, you have to bring it all the way up here, all the way down here, and they oftentimes vary from device to device. So we have all these clever schemes to try and keep them turned on, to have the right bias going. They're difficult to work with, but, but they're worth it. So, okay, thanks, bye.